The 63rd annual Hilo Orchid Society Show and Sale was held this past weekend at a new venue. For the first time, the annual show, billed as the biggest of its kind in Hawaii, took place at the Afuxian Inn Civic Auditorium. The show has normally been held at Edith Kanaka Ole Stadium. Organizers explained the Civic was the inspiration behind this year's theme, Orchids Avant-Garde, in the spirit of something new. The show began with a preview party on Thursday, a benefit for the Kuikahi Mediation Center and was dedicated to the memory of the late Sandy Song. Song, a retired judge, attorney, and orchid aficionado, passed away in June at the age of 65 after a battle with cancer. She loved orchids. She had we spoke with Julie Mitchell, executive director of the Kuikahi Mediation Center, about the special event. Our mission is to empower people to come together, to talk and to listen, to explore options, and to find their own best solutions. We offer mediation, facilitation, and training to strengthen the ability of diverse individuals and groups to resolve interpersonal conflicts and community issues. Sandy Song, who is our, one of our founding board members and who was a recent board member, she also was a board member and active participant in the Gila Orchid Society, and she connected our two organizations up, and so um, we became the be beneficiary for this event. It's been a really wonderful partnership, and it wouldn't have been possible without Sandy Song. She meant a lot to Hilo. She was an attorney here for many years. She had a huge impact in the legal community. She, I believe, she um, helped open the Molokai Legal Aid um, Program, and she was just uh, one of the first women lawyers. She is a dynamo, go-getter really believed in mediation, referred her clients to mediation. She was very opinionated, which <laughs> we liked, because she would bring out issues that needed to be discussed. And she also was just so supportive of what we did in every way. She gave, you know, in, in, in nonprofits, we talk about time, talents, and treasure. She gave it all. She grew orchids, she was a judge, and she, you know, love the Gila Orchid Society and being involved in Orchid. So it was so nice that she connected our two organizations up. Two nonprofits that do completely different things, but um, what a fun, what a fun event. We love being part of this event. Yeah, we have a memorial area for Sandy. Um, we have a new um, scholarship that we, the board created, the Kuikahi Mediation Center board created called Keep the Sign Alive. So we do every fall, we do a basic mediation training. It's a 30 hour training. It's designed for either people who want to come on board as a volunteer mediator at our center. So you go through the training, you do an apprenticeship and you become a mediator for Kuikai Mediation Center. Or some people send folks for staff development or just people want to do it for their own personal or professional development. And so it's to support a woman to come take every year the mediation training and it's going to be in Sandy's name. It's a memorial scholarship um, for her. She really cared about people, she really cared about the community and we miss her a lot.